Hi there, I am Dr. Anil and welcome to my channel, Let's Be Healthy. Did you know that dementia may be prevented? Do you know the risk factors involved and what strategies may help to prevent dementia? Let us uncover the truth. In this video, I will be explaining the risk factors of developing dementia and ways to prevent it. This video is in continuation of the first part of the video in which I discussed dementia, its causes and types in detail. You may watch it for a better understanding. I will put the link in my description box below. Now let's begin our new video. Can dementia be prevented? There is a good evidence that a healthy lifestyle can help reduce the risk of developing dementia when you get older. A healthy lifestyle can also help prevent cardiovascular diseases such as stroke and heart attack which are themselves the risk factors for the Alzheimer's disease and vascular dementia, the two most common types of dementia as I had mentioned in my previous video. The risk factors for dementia. A risk factor is something that increases your likelihood of developing a condition. Some risk factors are difficult or impossible to change. These include age. The older you are, the more likely you are to develop dementia. However, Dementia is not a natural part of aging. Genes In general, genes alone are not thought to cause dementia. However, certain genetic factors are involved with some of the less common types. Dementia usually develops because of a combination of genetic environmental factors such as smoking and a lack of regular exercise. Lower levels of education It may be a cause of concern as someone will not be able to know what type of vitamins and minerals are crucial for the brain health and may not develop a proper understanding of what to eat and how to be healthy and fit. The research concluded that by modifying the risk factors, we are able to change our risk of dementia and it could be reduced by around a third. Although there is no effective treatment or proven prevention for Alzheimer's and related dementias, in general, leading a healthy lifestyle may help to address the risk factors that have been associated with these diseases. So let's discuss one by one the risk factors. Number one is diet. Eating a healthy diet, aim for a mix of fruits and vegetables, whole grains, lean meats and seafood. Limit other fats and sugars. A diet that's high in saturated fat, salt and sugar and low in fiber can increase your risk of high blood pressure, high cholesterol, becoming overweight or obese and type 2 diabetes. Hence, you must eat a healthy and balanced diet as recommended by the RDA. The second on my list is weight. Being overweight or obese can increase your blood pressure, heart disease and the risk of type 2 diabetes, both of which are linked to a high risk of Alzheimer's disease and vascular dementia. Being active and choosing healthy foods can help maintain a healthy weight. Check if your weight is within the healthy range using the body mass index BMI calculator as we all know. If you are overweight or obese, even losing 5 to 10% of the excess weight can help you reduce your risk of dementia. Next on my list is keep yourself physically active. A lack of regular physical activity can increase your risk of heart disease becoming overweight or obese and type 2 diabetes which are all linked to the high risk of dementia. Older adults who do not exercise are also more likely to have problems with memory or thinking known as cognitive ability. Follow the recommended guidelines of at least doing 150 minutes of moderate intensity aerobic activity each week such as brisk walking, cycling or say even dancing. You should also do strengthening exercises at least twice a week such as gardening or maybe yoga. It's also important to sit less so try to get up and move around regularly. For example, take the stairs, walk up escalators and make phone calls while standing. The fourth on my list is drink less alcohol. Drinking too much alcohol can lead to falls and worsen health conditions such as diabetes, high blood pressure stroke, memory loss and mood disorders. Drinking excessive amount of alcohol increases your risk of some cancers as well as damages your nervous system including your brain. Stick to the recommended limit of drinking no more than 14 units of alcohol a week 
for both men and women. If you regularly drink as much as 14 units in a week, you should spread your drinking over 3 or more days and have several alcohol free days. The fifth risk factor is smoking. Smoking causes your arteries to become narrower which can raise your blood pressure. It also increases your risk of cardiovascular disease as well as several types of cancer. So try quitting smoking at any age. Stopping smoking is the best thing you can do. You can improve your health and lower the risk of heart attack, stroke and lung disease as well. The sixth risk is depression. The relationship between dementia and depression is a complex. It appears that having untreated depression increases your risk of developing dementia. However, depression can happen as a part of the overall symptoms of dementia itself. Regardless, low mood, anxiety or depression can all affect your ability to be socially active and engage in mentally stimulating activities. Take care of your mental and physical health. This includes getting your recommended health screenings, managing chronic health issues such as depression or high cholesterol and regularly checking in with your health care provider. The seventh risk factor is controlling high blood pressure. High blood pressure or hypertension has harmful effects on the heart, blood vessels and even brain and increases the risk of a stroke and vascular dementia. Treating high blood pressure with medications and healthy lifestyle such as exercising and quitting smoking may help reduce the risk of dementia. Number eight on my list is manage blood sugars. Higher than normal levels of blood sugar or glucose can lead to diabetes and may increase the risk of heart diseases, stroke, cognitive impairment and dementia. Making healthy food choices, getting regular exercises, stopping smoking and checking glucose level can help manage blood sugar. Number nine on my list is stay mentally active. Lots of activities can help keep your mind active, including reading, playing board games, crafting or taking up a new hobby, learning a new skill, working or volunteering and socializing. Number 10 on my list is stay connected with family and friends. Connecting with people and engaging in social activities can prevent social isolation and loneliness, which are linked to higher risk of cognitive decline and Alzheimer's disease. Number 11 on my list is Treat hearing problems. Hearing loss may affect cognition and dementia risk in older adults and can make it more difficult to interact with others. Protect your ears from loud sound to help prevent hearing loss and use hearing aids if needed. Number 12 on my list is sleep well. Sleeping well is important for both your mind and body. Try to get 7 to 8 hours of sleep each night. Talk with your doctor if you are not getting enough sleep, sleeping poorly or think you may have a sleep disorder. Number 13 on my list is prevent head injury. Take steps to prevent falls and head injury such as fall proofing your home and wearing shoes with non-skid soles that fully support your feet. Consider participating in fall prevention programs online or in your area. Also wear seat belts and helmets to help protect you from concussion and other brain injuries. As we come to the end of this video, I hope you found the discussion on risk factors of dementia and prevention strategies enlightening. But our journey doesn't end here. If you are eager to learn more about the management of dementia and how to support individuals living with this condition, I have a special video waiting just for you. Together, we will explore communication strategies, caregiver self-care and latest research on enhancing the quality of life for those living with dementia. It's a video you won't want to miss. You can click here to see. Thank you for joining me today. If you found this video helpful, please like, comment and share it with others who may benefit. Together, let's spread awareness, support those with dementia and build a more compassionate society. I'm Dr. Anil. I will see you in the next video. Stay informed, stay compassionate and most importantly, stay healthy.